Hello and welcome to History Enthusiast. Our channel is dedicated to uncovering the lives of remarkable historical figures and shedding light on lesser known but intriguing events. If you find our content engaging, please consider subscribing and giving us a thumbs up. Enjoy the video. The Lost Kingdom of Aksum, a forgotten superpower of antiquity. Explore the ancient kingdom of Aksum, founded in 150 BC, which spanned East Africa, South Arabia, and even Southern Arabia under King Caleb's reign. Aksum's strategic location on the trade route between Rome and India made it a major power, embracing the Greco-Roman culture and using Greek as its administrative language. It was considered one of the great powers of the third century, alongside Persia, Rome, and China. Aksum's influence extended to the minting of coins found as far as Caesarea and southern India. Join us to unravel the captivating history of this influential kingdom. The Birth of Aksum Step into the intriguing history of the city-state of Aksum. Before the rise of Aksum, the Tigray Plateau in northern Ethiopia was the realm of a kingdom called Damt. The first documented mention of Aksum emerges from the Periplus of the Erythrian Sea, a valuable trading guide likely from the mid one saint century AD. In this ancient text, Aksum is introduced in the company of Adulis and Ptolemais of the Hunts, all under the rule of Zoscales. This region was described as a key producer of ivory and coveted tortoise shells. Notably, King Zoscales himself received a Greek education, hinting at the early presence of Greco Roman influence in Aksum. Even at this nascent stage of its history, Aksum was already a pivotal player in the bustling transcontinental trade route connecting Rome and India. The legacy of Aksum as a vibrant center of commerce and culture was beginning to take shape, marking the birth of a civilization that would leave an indelible mark on history. The Aksumite Empire, Africa's forgotten trading superpower, and the birth of Christian Ethiopia. The Aksumite Empire, a dynamic trading powerhouse, was centered in Eritrea and northern Ethiopia. Its remarkable journey spanned from around 150 BC to 960 AD, evolving from the Iron Age to reach its zenith in the first century AD. At its height, the empire's influence stretched across much of modern-day Eritrea, northern Ethiopia, western Yemen, and parts of eastern Sudan. The once thriving city of Aksum, now a more modest community, was a vibrant metropolis in its heyday, serving as a cultural and economic epicenter. By the time of Indubis in the late 3rd century, the Aksumites had established their own coinage, and their power was acknowledged on a global scale. The influential Persian prophet Mani recognized Aksum as one of the world's four great powers of his era, alongside the Sasanian Empire, the Roman Empire, and China. A turning point in the empire's history came when King Azana ascended to the throne in 325 or 328 AD. Under his reign, the Aksumites embraced Christianity as the state religion, marking a pivotal moment in the region's spiritual and cultural landscape. Notably, Aksum was the first state to feature the image of the cross on its coins, a powerful symbol of its Christian identity. King Caleb and the Twilight of Aksumite Power in the 6th century, King Caleb of Aksum launched an expedition to aid the persecuted Christian community in South Arabia. This led to the region coming under Aksumite protection for nearly half a century, with leaders like Abraha and Mazruk governing South Arabia. However, Caleb's appointed Christian viceroy was eventually deposed by the Aksumite general Abraha, leading to a long-standing struggle for control. Abraha's rule continued with his son Mazruk Abraha, who paid tribute to Aksum. A revolt by Mad Karib, Abraha's half-brother, prompted alliances with first the Roman emperor and then the Sassanid Persian emperor. This resulted in the Aksumite-Persian wars and the eventual fall of the Aksumite-controlled capital, Sana'a. The Rise of Islam and the Decline of Aksum Shifting Tides in African History Following a second golden age in the early 6th century, the Aksumite Empire was a formidable force and a significant trading power. However, the rise of Islam in the early 7th century marked the beginning of Aksum's decline. Initially, Aksum had amicable relations with its Islamic neighbors. In 615 AD, for instance, early Muslims fleeing persecution in Mecca sought refuge in Aksum, 
an event recognized in Islamic history as the first Hijra. However, in 630, Muhammad dispatched a naval expedition led by Umar against the port of Adulis, known as the expedition of al Kama bin Mujaziz, sparking strained relations. Eventually, the Rashidun Caliphate gained control of the Red Sea and Egypt by 646, pushing Aksum into economic isolation. To the northwest of Aksum, in modern-day Sudan, the Christian states of Nobatia, Makuria, and Alodia persisted until the 13th century before succumbing to Bedouin tribes and the Funje Sultanate. Despite its isolation, Aksum remained a bastion of Christianity. The Aksumite Empire experienced a decline during the mid-7th century as Islamic powers began to control the crucial trade routes leading to Alexandria and Byzantium. This shift in trade dynamics dealt a blow to Aksum's prosperity. Concurrently, the empire ceased coin production in the early 8th century. As the Islamic powers exerted their influence, the Aksumite population faced increasing threats and migrated farther inland to the protective highlands. This migration marked the abandonment of Aksum as the capital. The center of power was subsequently relocated to a new site known as Kubar or Jarmi, signifying a significant shift in the empire's geography and a challenging period in its history. The enigmatic reign of Queen Gudit and the rise of the Zagwe dynasty. Around 960 AD, the Aksumite Empire faced a significant decline due to the invasion led by Queen Gudit, a Jewish ruler who persecuted Christians, destroyed churches, and demolished religious artifacts. Gudit's reign followed her assassination of the Beta Israel Emperor and spanned four decades. She waged war on Aksum with a Jewish army from Gondar and Lake Tana, aiming to eradicate the Aksumite dynasty and its cultural heritage. Gudit's invasion resulted in the partial destruction of Aksum, including the important church of Our Lady Mary of Zion, and the possible exile or death of the last Aksumite emperor, Dil Naod. After Gudit's rule, her dynasty gave way to the Zagwe dynasty in 1137 AD, initiated by Mara Tekla Hamanot. The Aksumite Empire underwent a brief dark age before the emergence of the Zagwe dynasty in the 11th or 12th century, marking a transformative period in the region's history. Aksumite Currency The Aksumite coinage offers a fascinating window into the history and cultural changes of this ancient kingdom. Initially, these coins were primarily created for international trade. They bore the name of King and Dubis and were predominantly minted in gold and silver following the weight standards established in the Roman Empire. Early Aksumite coins featured symbols like the crescent and disc in line with the religious practices of South Arabia to which Aksum was connected. However, a profound transformation occurred after the conversion of King Azana between 300 and 4356 CE. With his embrace of Christianity, King Azana replaced the existing symbols on the coins with a prominent cross. This symbolized the growing significance of Christianity within the kingdom. The coins also featured portraits of the ruler on both sides, as well as representations of Tef, a local wheat variety. Inscriptions on the coins conveyed valuable information. From the 4th century CE onward, there was a noticeable increase in the issuance of copper coins. These bore evident Christian inscriptions, such as Joy and Peace to the People, and He Conquers Through Christ. The shift from gold to copper coins also introduced a unique gilding technique, which was distinctive to Axum. It involved adding gold leaf to symbols like crowns, enhancing their visual appeal and, likely, their value. This transition in coinage reflects the profound changes within Aksumite society, particularly its conversion to Christianity during King Azana's reign. The religious symbolism on the coins held significant political implications, aligning Aksum's religious identity with its key trading partners, initially Rome and later Byzantium. These coins provide a tangible link to Aksum's history and its pivotal role in international trade during this period. Legends of Sheba, Solomon, and the Ark The legendary meeting between the Queen of Sheba and King Solomon is a pivotal part of Ethiopian heritage. According to traditional accounts, Sheba, who was also known as the Queen of Aksum, journeyed to Jerusalem, and her union with King Solomon resulted in the birth of their son, Menelik I. It is from Menelik's lineage that the Solomonic dynasty is said to have originated, and Ethiopian rulers, until the 1970s, 
were believed to be descendants of this illustrious lineage. Moreover, it is a cherished belief that Aksum houses the biblical Ark of the Covenant, which is said to contain the sacred tablets of law inscribed with the Ten Commandments. As the story goes, Menelik took the Ark with him on a visit to Jerusalem to meet his father. To this day, it is believed to rest in the Church of St. Mary in Aksum, though access to it is restricted and only a select few are allowed to lay eyes on it. Replicas of the Ark, known as Tabits, are found in every Ethiopian church, and they hold a place of great significance. They are paraded in processions on special occasions, underscoring the enduring importance of this tale in Ethiopian culture and religious traditions. As we conclude our exploration of the lost kingdom of Aksum, we are left with a profound sense of wonder and appreciation for this forgotten superpower of antiquity, its rise and fall, its influence on the world and its enduring cultural and religious legacy serve as a testament to the rich tapestry of human history, waiting to be uncovered and celebrated once more. Thank you for joining us in the journey to unravel the captivating history of this influential kingdom. We hope the story of Aksum continues to inspire and intrigue us through the ages.